believe it. We're part 70 now. Funny enough, I didn't even notice it was part 69. No pun intended. No, I'm intending the whole way, you know? <laughs> yeah, 69. Got him. But hey, part 70 right now. Let's go. And if you're new to this channel, if you want to support it, as I've said before, subscribe, like, comment, or watch my other videos or this one fully. Thank you for clicking on this video. Either way, let's go deep breath i read that wow sub b word not much i'm making soup cool what kind the can said beef oh yeah i have a question for you great i have a question for you too sure shoot do i pour the soup into the water because i did that No, you just boil the soup. That's what I thought. Can cans usually say something like that? Bring it to a boil. You got it. So I should have boiled the can in the water. No, not the can, just the soup. We don't need any water. But when I boiled pasta, I needed water. Okay, if anyone's like in this situation, first time boiling anything. Well, if it's like noodles and soup base, you have to bring it to a boil and then when it's boiling, you add in the noodles and the soup paste or powder. But let's say the whole thing is it is like a package, it's like a cup of noodles, you know. But this one looks like you just have to boil it. So put it in there, uh, heat it up, open the stove or burner wait for it to boil if it if it boils i guess it depends on the cooking instructions if it's three minutes wait for it to boil for three minutes then it's cooked it's done on the i'm sorry for the sideline there yeah but not with canned soup that's stupid oh why didn't they write the instructions of the can so that normal people can understand how to cook it not not everyone is a rock scientist about my question would you happen to have a video of joe's and maya fulfilling their scavenger hunt list oh that video was so hot you should have seen it yeah i should have so do you have it nope they just showed me on their phones okay never mind then hey sister wait up Tell me, are you planning to ignore me forever or what are you going for? I'm not gonna use black bars anymore or I guess depends on the scenes. Because the more I use them, it looks like it's more kinkier than what it actually is. I'm not ignoring you, I simply have nothing to say to you. Let's say there's like cleavage right here or something. Uh, and if, if we put a sensor bar, it looks like yeah, they don't they're not wearing anything, right? Even though in reality they are wearing something, I just don't want to show that they have showing skin. Ah, oh, that's kind of weird to say. I'm not ignoring you. I'm, oh, yeah, sorry about that. Another side note right there. But let's get back to the game. I'm not ignoring you. I'm seeing they have nothing to say to you. Not even a hi or an exchange of pleasantries. Hi. Yeah, I can see that you are hi. I mean. Can you hook me up? Do you smoke? I sure do. So how about it? She sounds like a cop. Gotta lie. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm tired from studying or something. No, you're not. You're acting carefully. And I perfectly understand you. You should be careful. I can see how you must be blaming yourself for trusting Mona but right about now. Mona who? I've got $500 for you if you hook me up. I'm not sure how much drugs that equates to, so I, as I don't usually use or sell any, but $500 worth sounds like it's for way more than a personal use. I'm guessing, of course. Yeah, I have no clue how this works either. It's totally the first time I buy. I'm just an innocent girl thinking that $500 worth is a good start for a relationship. I Is she a cop? Is she an undercover college st stripper cop 
I have no reason to trust anything you say. Seems like I have leverage and that it's making you uncomfortable. So let me level the playing field. I'm looking for a new supplier, reliable and cheap. You can't believe how hard it is to find someone with either of those qualities, let alone both. Despite the amount, it's for personal use. I just happen to be buying extra personal use for my girls at the club. Oh, a dealer and a seller. How many girls are we talking about? All of them. Want a drink? F word, yes, and a smoke. Follow me, I have a hookah in my room. I don't mind the naked guy on my bed, he's pass out cold, but he will be leaving shortly. Looks like this is the end of it, wow, we ended in part 7. When I look back at the first month I had at this place, I was worried that every day would be filled with crazy activities. How could I not think that? Every day was. There was everything from fighting people to hell week pranks and wild parties. Ones that I either was invited to or had to attend anyway. But after Hell Week, kind of died down for a bit, just like I hoped it would. Days were a bit more mundane. The dicks were for focused on working and top of that I spent time studying. I started working out more. It was the same kind of workout I always did, cardio and sparring. sparring. But I was tempted to join the gym, now I had the money for it. I didn't want to spend it frivolously though. I didn't know what for but I was saving it. It's good to save money, it's your account money or your personal uh, savings money. He has $5,000 that equates to Philippine Peso would be 250 k Give or take, usually less, but you know. If I were me, I would invest that in cryptocurrency or in, in actual stock, but hey, that's me. It was pretty dull at times, but dull days are needed to appreciate the fun ones. I thought about what Sage told me in the library, how it's good to have some sort of a uh, balance between studies and parties. I came to like that way of thinking more than I thought. But then the weekend came and I could feel how the dicks weren't having any fun. Hey, I was bored too, but I had to act like I wasn't to keep the moral. I had to act like I wasn't to keep the morale up. Morale up. We had to save money for the mansion. Everyone wanted to restore the rooms and have it like it was before. They were missing the strobe light dancing, the bar tables, the mini fridges filled with alcohol, the crowded parties, the blasting music, and the relaxing and fun times. And instead, they were faced with something new to them. Reality. It didn't matter how hard we worked, the money wasn't meant to be spent on anything until the place was back into shape. This made the weekend feel a bit weird. And well, the boys tried finding other ways of satiating their needs for alcohol. Vodka and tampons? What was it called again? Vodka Fanny Bullets. 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 How does it work? You take a tampon. Alright. Okay. A tampon? Did you buy tampons for this? Uh, buy them? No. You get them for free in some ladies' rooms. Continue. You take a tampon. And then you pull down your pants and your underwear. I'm out. Do you want to get drunk or not? I ain't sticking a tampon up my ass, bro. I didn't say that. Then what is it? First you dip the tampon in the vodka, and then you stick it up your ass. <laughs> That's what I thought it was. But you forgot about the vodka. The vodka is not the issue here. Wait, wait, so let me get this straight there, Derek. Technically, you could just pour vodka up your ass. Yeah, with a funnel. No, listen, I've tried Fanny Funnel Chug. It doesn't work well. You see, the tampon holds the vodka in place and slowly exposes her asshole to it. Why am I the only one groaning here? Come, sit with me. I'm not even gonna listen. So, what I'm hearing is that it's better if it's slow. Yeah, from your b-hole, it goes directly into your bloodstream. Where I come from, it's a top three reason drunk teenagers are hospitalized. But why your b-hole though? If you're looking to get the alcohol into your bloodstream, bloodstream, why not the armpit? Should be as effective, but it still sounds extremely dangerous. You liar, you said you weren't listening. What are you? What are you? A vodka fanny bullet academic? Trust me, you do it in the b-hole. 
And then you walk around with a tampon in your butt until you get drunk? Is that right? Yeah, for a little while. Have you done the math on this? Like, is it more effective to shove it up in the bee or than drinking the vodka? It seems like everyone here has an effing degree in vodka fanny bullet bullets. Are we doing this or what? You go first. I think it's better if I'm sober when someone else does it. In case of an emergency, I know what to do. What emergency? You just pull the tampon out. Yeah, but amateurs will underestimate the power of the tampon. You see, as you dip the tampon in vodka, can anyone guess what will happen? I have no effing clue, my dude. It will sell up and fast at that. Wait, is that why women use tampons during their period instead of diapers or whatever it's called? Most chicks would probably deny it, but they think that the tampon swelling is them making lemonade out of lemons. Either way, that what this means is that you only have a small window of opportunity to put it in your beehole before it swells to the size of a... Oh, is this our Saturday night? Well, what do you want to do? Well, what do you want to do? We should have gone to the hot party. Alphas will be there. Chicks too. You wanna go? We don't have to ignore them just because Tommy does. We're free to do whatever we want. If you want to, then yeah, let's go. I need it. Ah, it burns! Clench, Jamie, clench! Don't waste the vodka! The alternative is staying here watching dudes getting alcohol up their b-holes. But beer! <laughs> but beer, what? Hell week is over! Yeah, I know, but. But beer! Not for me, bro. Ba okay, sure, buddy. <coughs> Big A! Hi, Aryeth, how are you? How are ya? Aryeth, what happened to Ari? It's cool, I think Aryeth suits you better. Caleb's, Caleb's downstairs, we'll be looking for him. No, I was looking for you. Let's go talk in my room. I can't. I'm waiting for Ash. He's getting us beer. Ash? Who? Ash? My roommate Ashley? Yeah, Ashley. I call her Ash. It's short for Ashley. Oh! Does she call you Big A? No, she calls me Ant. It's short for Anthony. Oh, I think they're going for legit here. Those colors suit you. You think so? I feel a bit odd wearing this. Yeah, I'm the same. You want to know what I do? What? I put them on at night to get used to them. Rio always laughs when she walks in and sees me wearing them. They don't look so revealing on other hots, but they feel like you're wearing nothing. Oh, please. You're fine. Yeah, look at Lily. She's literally wearing... If I wore these at work, I'd get fired for being overdressed. Are you standing in the hallway when there's a party over there? Follow the music, girls! I can't whistle, I'm sorry. Damn! Hey, boys, I hope you're enjoying yourselves. There's more beer in the kitchen. Look at you, is that new? No, I've wanted to wear this dress for l Oh, wait, I'm sorry. I'm, getting, I'm reading so fast right now. No, I've wanted to wear this dress for a long time, but I never found an opportunity for it. You look beautiful in it. Thanks, Josie. That's sweet of you. And I have to say that you look great in your outfit. In our outfit. Pink is totally your color. I was talking to Camilla about it. I still feel weird wearing this. Because it's revealing. Yeah, the skirt feels too short. We should have been here when we had our old outfit. It was horrible, right, Heather? Yeah, it feels like a swimsuit. It was way too tight for me. At least with this design, I can choose an individual size for the top. Oh, are you whining about your big guns again? Those motorboats? Didn't I tell you they are super they're a superpower and you want to hide them like a blow-up doll? Yeah, yeah, it's no news how you feel about it. Let the girl be Let the Let the girl be B for B, B word for once. B over here. I need a word with you. Did you settle in? 
Yeah, pretty much. Heather and Elena have been showing me around and teaching me about this and that. I can tell Heather is happy that you're here. And I think that you and I should bond as well. Sure, I'd love that. But first I must say I'm happy you changed your mind in return. That's very big of you. Oh, I'm sorry, I pressed the wrong button. I wish that the others would do the same, but it doesn't seem like it's happening. You know what else isn't happening? This conversation, because I'm about to end this part 70. I thought it really was about to end, but no. We might push this up to part 75, bro. Let's go. But yeah, if you're new to this channel or you want to support continuing supporting this channel, please smash that subscribe button, like, comment, watch my other videos, or watch this one, or being a dick, or whatever you want, really. But yeah, thanks for watching, and I'll be seeing you in, I'll be seeing you in the next part of being a dick. Bye!